So your teacher has tasked you with creating a poster. Well, Google Drawings is just the tool for that. You can find Google Drawings either in Google Classroom by adding it to your assignment or in your Google Drive by clicking the new button, scrolling down to more, and then selecting Google Drawing. So this here is Google Drawing. Let's get started. If you want to create your poster so that it's the size of a normal sheet of paper, you're gonna wanna click on File and then Page Setup. Here, you're gonna click where it says Standard and then scroll down to Custom. Here you can apply whatever size page settings you would like. So if I want it to be portrait style, like a normal sheet of paper, I'm gonna type in 8.5 by 11. If I want it landscape, I'm just gonna reverse those numbers and do 11 by 8.5. Once you click apply, you'll notice that your drawing takes the shape of a standard sheet of paper. Now, let's take a look at the background. To change the background color from transparent, right click on the background and select background. Then go ahead and choose your color. Now we need to add a title to our poster. So let's come up here and click insert, word art, and then type your title, then hit enter. Now you'll notice it defaults to Arial with a light blue color. So let's make some changes. Let's make it this font here. I wanna change the color to make it a nice dark green. I'd like to change the border color to be a blue. And I'd like the thickness of my border around my letters to be a little bit thicker. Now I've gone ahead, I've clicked, and I've moved the title up to the top. If I wanna make the title larger, I can click on any of the corners and drag diagonally to make it larger. Next, if I want to enter some text onto my poster, I'm gonna select the text box feature. Click it, drag it, and you can always adjust the size again by clicking and dragging on the corners. Now you can go ahead and type in the text box. If you'd like to add bullet points, just click up here and it will give you bullet points to then create your points in this text box. You also have the options to put some borders around your text box and change the fill color, similar to how we did the title. I can change my fill color to make it yellow. I can change the border by clicking on the pencil icon here. I can also change the thickness of my border and then if I'd like, I can change the style of my border. The next thing I wanna show you is how to add an image. It's very important that we do not violate the copyright of other creators. So the best way to find an image is clicking here on insert image. Then click search the web. Google does some of the work for us by searching for pictures that are free to be used and modified. So if I want to add a picture of a smiley face, these are all the ones that are out there that I can go ahead and use. So I can click on it and then I can click insert and bring my picture in. Again, I can go ahead and resize it by clicking and dragging in the corner. If you click up here on this little circle icon coming above the border, you can change the angle of your picture. And then of course, click and drag. Now it's your turn to put your creative juices to work and create a poster.